Hey, welcome back, everybody. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Woo. Well, today, this is what uh, we're doing today. And maybe you might find this useful. If you had problems with your bottom of your cabinets, you know, if the dishes are put back, you can't really see it. So, yeah, see how rough it is? And because of the water, a little bit of water left on them, and it just eats these up. Well, I found out a good way to uh, fix that. Put some of this smart core side, this uh, flooring. See how thin it is? And put some of that in the bottom. Here's here's one I already done. See there? I already did this one. And I just put it in there and piece it in. And put it as tight as possible. And just brings it back. And it just takes up very little bit of a... Uh, the bottom. So I'm going to put you in the thing and to the uh, tripod and uh, watch me as I uh, put this one in here. We'll get this one in. This is exactly 18 inches from here to here. So we're going to cut these up and put it in there. And I'll let you, let you come along for a while and see what you think. I'll pause you here. Okay, let me show you what I got. This is a piece I have left over. Okay, so I want to use every little bit I can. So I put that in there like that. And then you take your tape measure and measure it. And you want it tight. So make sure she's in there all the way back. So right there we're looking at two and let's see, three quarter plus I always say. That's two and three quarter plus. Let me double check. Yeah, two and three quarter plus. So that's what I'm going to find here. Two and three quarter plus. Now this is my next piece to cut. But I don't need to get rid of a good end. Let's use that good end first. And put it in there. And then we'll cut this one to match for the next one. All the way. So let me show you here. Again. Pause you. Okay, here we go. Two... Three quarter plus with just a sixteenth more. We want just plenty enough. I'm going to turn my light on. It's a little dark in this bar in here. Pole barn. Let's make sure. Look, first of all. i to put the safety glasses on. here this right there and this thin material likes to slip in there so when you put your pressure on holding it hold it back here where it's solid that way it won't do no moving because you you're wanting this stuff dead on you know you want it right on you don't want to fool around with it and it still kind of cuts a little weird now that could be true that could be my my saw blade might not be the best so but let's go with the next one, which will be first. Let's see how straight this is. Looks pretty good. This should be 18 inches. So we'll mark that. 18 inches. The front to the back. Yours might be different. this final rip here which is one and three eighths one and three eighths and that's what it was on the issue now here's my issue this I cut the other end for the other one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop all my stuff over this way and I can use this side for this end over here for this end over here. Now it's going to be a little different. So, so 
what I got to do is I got to take this off because if this is over here, it you will be able to see it. So really, the best way to do that is let me pause you and I'll come right back and show you. Let's get you a brand new utility blade and your utility knife. Lay this down and cut just on that edge. Just on the edge. Just taking that little bit out. So there it got off a little bit. Try just to take that lip off. And if you miss some of it, come back and we'll touch it up. Then you can build a sandwich that across there. All right, now when you cut this, you want to measure, it's one and three eighths. You want to measure from where the material starts, not the lip, it'll mess you up. So what I'm gonna to have to do for my table saw is mark this at one, three eighths, and then I'm gonna measure the whole thing because on my table saw it had the rip fence. So we're roughly looking at a heavy, if you can see a heavy one and a half. So you first you mark that where you want it. And then mark this so when you put it on your fence, you'll cut it and you won't be shy. So it'll be a heavy half. Heavy half. So it'll be one and a heavy half. Is what I gotta do over here on the table saw. Okay. Right now I gotta cut it. Well, I got it one and three three eighths, but I gotta give it just a little more. And we'll give it a heavy half. Okay, now let's get that cut. Now I'll bring you in here closer so you can see me as I put it together. First of all, I mocked it up here, I put it all together, and I gotta pound this little groove in. Make that complete, make sure it's all together, like that. Then you wanna make sure, over here, I'll bring you back here, try to get you off the side so you can see what's going on. Make sure it's cleaned out. Is that all cleaned out? Okay. Then you take your piece, slip it in here so easy. Good. Then you push these sides down all in these corners. Now I have to get a block. If you get a little block, you can. Tap it down. There it is. That needs a little more work. I have to get. Here, I got my hammer. Let's go ahead and tap it down here. Ever so slightly. The same thing there. And voila! There you go. There's the second box. And now you can put your dishes and stuff. If it's a little bit of wet and it goes in here, it's not going to tear up your bottom. You got a good, nice, it's plus bottom. So, hey, I hope this helps somebody. And and uh, we always got something coming. Never know what I'm up to next. Always got projects and things coming. Might be four wheelers. Might might be this. We never know. So when I do get projects like that, I like to bring you guys along. Help, hopefully this helps somebody. And uh, subscribe, push the bell, get notifications. Always got something going. You know, and something coming along here. Uh, that have them. I got some other ones. I got the uh, 
Polaris, that bill, that's coming along. I'll, I'll bring you on that. Bring that back up. And like I always say, if you're upright and walking, you're having a good day. Take care, everybody.